All right, here we are in a beautiful Simi Valley, California day, looking at a very nice 1955 Chevy. Two-door hardtop, Bel Air Resto Mod, very nicely done. It's got a lot of neat goodies on it. We're going to walk around and tell you what we see and know, and and uh, definitely hang out to the end of the video as we go around here. It's finished in a Neptune green, an original uh, 55 color, and a shoreline beige backside and hardtop. It's underneath the hood and underside is what's really neat about this car also. Very well presented car. Uh, it's got a uh, 1999 Pontiac LS1 underneath the hood with a Magnuson supercharger. 4L60E automatic overdrive transmission. It has, uh, it's resting on a uh, Paul Newman chassis with fully independent uh, C4 style suspension underneath it. So it's got an updated chassis. You can drive this car. Anyway, we'll walk around. And we'll, like I said, I'm going to tell you what I know. Very nicely done. The gentleman's owned it for several years. He purchased it in about 2002, 2003, and then proceeded the restoration. And then later years, probably five, six years ago, he updated the chassis in it and uh, so on and so forth. But the interior is very nicely done. We'll get around to the driver's side and share it with you. The paint's been on the car since about 2003. So there's a little bit of settling here and there, but really nothing even worth talking about. Um, pretty typical. So it's about a 14, 15 year old paint job on the car that looks really good. I mean, you pull up into a show, people are going to go, wow. The color on this car is just very nice. The Neptune green's like a metallic. We'll point out a couple little things on it, but really, again, nothing worth talking about. This is a very presentable car that would uh, definitely take a trophy at events, and it has. Um, there's never a car that's perfect or brand new, but if you're looking for a badass Tri-5, this one probably could do it for you. Um, again, underneath the hood and the chassis is very nice. It has air conditioning, power windows, has four-wheel disc, bare disc brakes, uh, polished calipers in the front, 18-inch uh, billet specialty wheels on it, front and rear, brand new rubber on it. Bright works very nice. Looks like it has a tinted windshield on it. He's an NSRA member, which means it would have had the safety inspection done. The fit of the fenders and the doors are very nice up here. The little tiny chip on the corner of the hood there, nothing to talk about. There's a small little spot on the hood here. I can't even see outside, but I saw it in the garage. Um, not even again, it's small. It's a little bit of a, I don't, you can see it a little bit there. Anyway, I can show you how picky I'm being. This is a nice car. This gentleman's very proud of this car and he should be. Um, as you hang on to the end of the video, we're going to cover the undercarriage of the car like we usually do. And you'll get a good look at the floor pans. It's rock solid. Uh, the interior is finished in a very nice uh, supple leather cowhide. Not faux leather, real leather. Um, so it's got leather and Canejo upholstery did the upholstery in the inside of the car and I've done several cars over the years that, uh, that, his, that did the upholstery like that and, or that have done upholstery in cars I've listed and uh, very nice, very tight, creative. It's got some sculpted door panels here, so on and so forth. Dash finished in the Neptune green also. Door jam to door jam will kind of give you a feel here. It's got a leather wrap steering wheel, billet, polished billet. It has power windows on it like we mentioned. Um, I'll give you a look at this door jam. I'll flip the seat up here. There are no seat belts in the car, so if you wanted to have seat belts in it, you'd have to install them. Tan would be just fine. Pardon me why I... Uh, Push the seat back here. Gonna give you a peek there. Long road trip this time. A little chilly, a little sniffly. Again, 18 inch wheels on the back, disc brakes in the back. Fit of the trim's nice. We'll kind of step back and let you take a look at it here. Neptune green is kind of like a teal green. Again, if you go to spudsgarage.com, 
you're gonna have still photos taken in the sh in the shade we're doing the uh, video in the sun here sometimes cameras have a way of picking up colors but it's a factory Neptune green metallic We've got the bumper heads on the back nicely done the exhaust exits out the back here it actually has cutouts for the exhaust so uh, get underneath it you'll see that it has a ceramic coated exhaust system on it again Paul Newman chassis C4 style suspension trunk upholstery is just as nice as the uh, interior of the car and we'll give you a peek of that hang on to the video pretty car if you want one you can drive this car will uh, trip your trigger that's for sure drive and show Again, door panels here door jam to door jam I'm not going to flip the seat up it's too hard with one hand to put it back uh, headliner got the plated bows in it nicely done you gotta love the look of that it kind of gives a car a nomad feel these 55s it has a uh, high-end uh, wool style carpet on in it it's not a loop or anything like that Got updated uh, digital, uh, digital, digital analog is what you call those gauges. Again, overall, he's only got about uh, 14, 1500 miles on the car. Has an audio system, CD player in the dash here, billet dash insert. We're gonna fire it up here. Fuel injection, so you don't have to touch the gas. Show you all the gauges work. Fifteen hundred fifty-seven miles at the time of inspection. Um, it's got uh, almost third, almost fourteen volts in the charging system. Oil pressure is at about fifty. It's tacking at one thousand. Fuel gauge is between quarter and a half. Car's cold right now. We'll kind of get out. Kind of get out and give you a feel of the sound. Just a small belt chirp, he'll have that fixed before it leaves here. A little belt squeal off that serpentine belt. Sweet. LS1, about time we tell you to get in, but also hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. All right, as promised, we're going to get underneath the hood here. Wow, this is really nice underneath the hood. Just opening the hood on this car, give people a make them stand back and look a little bit. Anyway, we have a uh, 1999 Pontiac LS1 with a Magnuson supercharger on it. Uh, very nicely done. A lot of polished and platy, plated goodies on it. It has a uh, four-wheel di uh, bare disc brakes, power disc brakes, and that's a chrome master cylinder reservoir. We look down here, there's uh, the Paul Newman chassis. All those components on it are either polished or plated. It has a serpentine belt drive system in it, which is really nice, and that's chrome plated. The uh, supercharger itself has been polished, and again, the valve covers have been polished. Look up underneath the front here, mats and aluminum radiator polished. AC condenser's been polished. It has nice little bow tie head screws on the uh, apron here. Let you look a little bit there. Um, come over here, uh, ceramic coated headers, if I didn't already say that. You'll see there a long tube header that dumps out down low down there. Fender aprons in the firewall are all finished in the Neptune green exterior color. Definitely we want you to go to Spud's Garage because we'll have uh, a lot of photos there. There's sometimes differences in color between the cameras that I use. Um, so you get a good, a really good feel of the car. Power steering, like we talked about, it has a electric cooling fan. The owner said this car runs really cool. It's got an automatic cooling fan that comes on um, and uh, runs 180 or so with no issues. So it's the kind of car you can drive. He hasn't put a lot of miles on it over the years, probably 14, 1500 miles. Anyway, you get the feel. Hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Talk to you soon. All right, let's look at the trunk here like we talked about. He's got the battery hidden up behind a panel. 
I believe the amps are over here in the, on this side. on this left hand quarter. Um, Canejo upholstery. This is a very nicely done upholstered interior and trunk on this car. Um, take a peek here. You'll see a lot of these guys don't even touch the back of the deck lid here. It's really nice. It's finished to match it, you know, so they've padded the pockets on it. The uh, spare tire well, because of the Paul Newman chassis, has been eliminated. So um, that would have been there to begin with. And when he updated to the uh, Paul Newman chassis, uh, they eliminated the spare tire well. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage like we always do. We're going to walk around and talk about it here with you. Very nice, very desirable. It has a Paul Newman chassis in it with a Corvette C4 style suspension in it. The owner went to the extra measure to have a lot of the items either plated or polished. So it's got the polished trailing arms there, the half shafts. It has polished bare brakes on the front. We'll go over that with you. The tires on the car, it has an upgraded stainless steel fuel tank for the uh, uh, fuel pump and the late model fuel injection. All the exhaust is custom built with cutouts. We'll get up front from here and we'll show you. It's been all ceramic coated just like the headers. See how the, it's very nicely done in here. Very solid car. I believe they, uh, when they they finished some portions of the trunk pan, but that's all repaired. And I know they did that when they did the uh, uh, remove the spare tire pocket to fit the Newman chassis. Um, you'll see a stabilizer bar, but it's fully independent four wheel suspension with power steering. The body on it, this car is very nice. The floor pans are beautiful. It came out of Kansas before. He's got some really neat cutouts on it. Um, I believe they're electric, aren't they? Yes. Art? Yeah. Yes, it's got electric cutouts. You can see them peeking out below the pipes there. So when you're going through the show, you can open those babies up. The chassis on the car was updated all oh, about five, six years ago and very few miles. He purchased the car, like I mentioned earlier, in 2002, 2003, and did a lot of the restoration and then later updated the chassis. Wanted a car you could drive, so he's got a lot of dough in this baby. I'm going to go back around here to the uh, brakes. You'll see it's got the polished bare calipers on it, drilled slotted rotors, and has all new rubber on it that we talked about. The front tire size, get to the back here. Oh, I can't see it because it's up in the wheel well. On the front here, you'll get just a little bit of tighter tire rub if you turn it super tight, but otherwise you're not gonna notice anything. As we walk around, look at the paint there. Very nicely done. These Paul Dumont chassis are just beautiful. Again, bare brakes. Tire size on the front is a 245-45ZR18. Brand new. Rockers are very nice. Floor pans are beautiful. Headers that lead into the exhaust and the cutouts again. See where they polished and plated a lot of stuff. Anyway, you're getting at the end of the video. We definitely appreciate you coming to Spud's Garage. So the hardest part for me is kneeling down. 275-40 ZR18s in the rear. Have a great day.